and it's a pleasure for me to be back here today. I spoke to this group oh, close two, three years ago, uh, and I'm always amazed when a group invites me back for a second time. You'd think that they would have had the affinity the first time. But anyhow, what I'm speaking on today is a, a lecture on my overall website called the One Step Web Pages, a Potpourri of Genealogical Search Tools. Okay, let me talk about the One Step Web Pages and what, what they're all about. Uh, well, before I do, let me first say why it's called the One Step Web Pages. This came about, as Jay mentioned, in 2001 when the, the Ellis Island database went online. EllisIsland.org put up the database and on their website they had the, search, the whole search application and it took many steps to, to do a search. And I realized that I could do the whole thing in just one step. So I put up my own search form, for, and I, I call that searching the Ellis Island database in one step. And I, I didn't realize that by doing so, I'd become branded. And, and all the tools I had after that had to have that one step in the title. If I would have realized the significance of that, I might have given more, th given more thought to it and gone with my second choice, which was searching the Ellis Island database with fewer tears. <laughs> and, in which case, we'd now be talking about the fewer tears website. But okay, we'll start with the One Step website, and before I continue, let me just point out one interesting fact. This week, uh, in two days, is actually the 10th anniversary of the website. It was, from, from what I gathered from some old emails that I found, it was like April 26th when I had this thing first working. It was April 17th that ellisisland.org went online, and by April 26th I have the first workings of this, of this tool, which was the beginning of the, of the One Step website. So this is the 10th anniversary.